story about an North Vietnamese attack at Khartoum in Tainan province. We're waiting now to get out. Our last chopper out at night. It's a big Huey carrying in supplies. We came in on one like that and caught a mortar shell about 100 yards from us. There's a Huey now. And it's going to be a little scary going out. We can expect at least one more mortar. We're running now. And that pilot isn't going to wait for her. And about a minute and a half for us. The zebras getting taken out by a mortar. Huey took off without us, so we can. Here comes another one now. Now get down in here, into the ditch. Tom McLeod, our camera. You can hear the second Huey coming in now, carrying in more supplies. This is the one. A Negro man is head wrapped in a bandage, a combat bandage, being helped across the road now. Three others went out ahead of him. They're pulling, telling them, come on, come on. They're about 100 feet from me. They're one, two more, two more wounded. Three, four, five, coming out. Just barely making it to the wall. That second Huey's taken off, too. So I don't know where we stand out here, except out in the open with damn little protection. This one's a bomb being dropped by a fixed-wing fire aircraft. Again, one of ours. It's strangely beautiful along here. The smoke from the bombs and the mortars seems to mingle with the low overhanging clouds. And there's even a, a rainbow off to the east, believe it or not. Oh, no. No. Charlie's been shot. Jesus. Perhaps the most unsettling thing about all this is that while well, we're waiting here for what we all damn well hope will be that last chopper, that sun is going down behind the clouds, and it's getting darker and darker. And if it gets too dark, that chopper's not going to land at all. And like it or not, we're going to have to spend the night with the North Vietnamese.